Okay. All right. Don't forget, put this hook here underneath the stitch. I'm going to pick up the stitch, and I'm going to cut underneath the knot. Let me get one I can hang on to there. They're kind of hard to do. Let me find one here. Cut underneath the knot, and you're pulling up in a way that you're not going to pull the string through the skin. I don't want to cut it over there and pull the, pull the thread back through the skin. What thread's visible? You want to drop your stitch in your tray. I'm going to do another one. Remember every other one. So let me try this one. Put your hook underneath the knot. Underneath. And pull up. Miss Albie and I will cry every time you cut one because we have to put these back in every other stitch. There's one. I skipped one. Did one. Skip this one. Do this next one. Pull up. Cut under the knot. Okay. That stitches. Make sure you get all your thread out. So these pickups are very plasticky. Sometimes you may have to use your fingers. That stitches. You need to know to apply stereo strips. If you need to, if it starts gaping open, stop immediately. And do not take any more out if it starts gaping open, as in the wound separates. You would stop and put stereo strips on. But you take every other one out. Then you go back. If it stays together, take every other one out coming back. And eventually, you will get them all out. You need to know to reapply a dressing if it's ordered. And to document the length of the incision, how many stitches you took out, how many was in there, and how the wound looked. Redness, drainage, or pus. Okay, I'm going to move over to the staples. Same thing. Identify your patient. Perform hand hygiene. Put on gloves. Put on gloves. Okay, so you do all that. Get your orders. Identify the patient. Put on gloves. Foam in. Close the curtain. Drape your patient like this. Draper. Measure your incision. It's about a, if you look at my hand, about a four inch incision with about 20 staples. Okay. Count how many staples you have. They may not be as tall as they are. They may be flush to the skin. This is put in a mannequin. They may be flush to the skin. So medicate them for pain. Come back in 30 minutes to an hour. You have the same kind of a package. This is a skin stapler extractor. Okay? You pull this open. Okay, get this out of the way. See my little teeth? I have two teeth on the bottom. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Two teeth on the bottom and one on the top. Don't touch your instrument. You got clean gloves on. And you would do the same thing on your stitches. Count how many you have and do every other one. Please don't start on the end. Start one down and start taking every other one out. Watch for gaping. You put your two teeth underneath the staple. Push in like that. Okay? What happens is, I'm going to lay this tool down on the tray. Your staple looks like this going in. You pinch it and, it and it closes. When you push down on it on your W, it opens the legs back up so you can get them out. If you need to explain on camera, I will probably explain in the classroom. Every other one. So skip one, do the next one. Put your two teeth below. Push in. You may have to rock it a little bit. Just rock it side to side, but push in firmly. And you count your staples, how many you take out. Every other one. Again, I'm going to show you with my other hand so maybe you can see it better. Put your two teeth underneath. Skip a, skip a staple. Remember, every other one. Say I can do it left-handed. Yep. Put it in, rock it, and take it out. Okay? Did y'all see that? Put it in, two teeth, and rock it, okay, and get it out. But you would do this. You would document how long your incision was, four inches, how many staples, 20, how many did you take out? If you took out half of them and it gapped open, remember gap open? You would stop and put stereo strips in. You need to make sure that you apply stereo strips. If it gaps open, put stereo strips and a dressing. Remove your gloves and document how long incision, how many staples, how many was removed, and, this, and describe it. That coca fits both of these. Color of the incision, the odor, if any odor, 
um, consistency. Was the skin intact or did it eviscerate? Did it gap open? And amount, how many amount, how many stitches were in, how many you took out. So cocoa will apply to sutures and staples. This is Dracilla Williams. Thank you.